Join the story with a spoon. Oh, you use a spoon oh, to eat whatever you like. So let's sing a rhyme and use the spoon. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet eating her curds and whey. Along came the spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Now, Georgie Porgy and Tommy Tucker thought that they could frighten Miss Muffet away whenever she came to eat under her favorite tree. So off they went and bought a toy spider. They climbed up the tree waiting for Miss Muffet to arrive. They tied a thread to the toy spider and they waited. And as always, Miss Muffet came along with her favorite food and she sat down to eat. That's when these boys dangled the spider just right in front of her pretty little nose. If you think Miss Muffet ran away just like in the rhyme. No, she did not. Because Miss Muffet had seen these two little boys buy the toy spider in the store that very morning. She laughed and she asked them, I think you all are very smart and clever. So could you tell me what is smaller than the spider's mouth? The question baffled the boys. They had no answer. Miss Muffet laughed and told them the answer. Anything that the spider eats would obviously be smaller than the spider's mouth. The two boys were so cross that when they started climbing down the tree, bum, 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 bam, they fell down. They didn't get hurt, thankfully, yet they learned their lesson not to ever scare little Miss Muffet. So, with this, I end my story here. I hope you all enjoyed it. Till next time, till next story. Bye-bye. Thank you.